Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, November 27th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, this is a Saturday puzzle. We really need to be on our toes for misdirection and wordplay. Alright, one across. Act the cynic, maybe? Act the cynic? Hmm. Maybe you're like poo-pooing something? I don't know about this one. Felt off? I guess this could be about something feeling off, like you get a strange feeling about something. Or it could be about not feeling well. Um, maybe it could be ailed? Could that be right? Well, let's try and build off of it and see if that's correct. Who famously offered this speaking advice? Be sincere, be brief, be seated. In brief, I guess this is probably going to be a monogram. It'll be someone's initials, or maybe it'll just be a nickname. That doesn't help too much here. Schedule listings? Hmm, well, it could be plural. This might be an S. Prompting nostalgia say? Hmm, something that prompts a nostalgic feeling? Boy, well, like we said, this is a Saturday. It's not going to be easy. Channel owned by HBO. A different channel? I don't know if I know this one either. Hot spots. Is it about lava? <laughs> I don't know. Realizes? Maybe that could be gets? Soiree invitee? Somebody that would get invited to a soiree? It would have to be somebody kind of fancy. Hmm. Is it like a socialite? I don't know. We've got two grid spanners and a big stack in the center here. It seems like we might have to start cold somewhere else. We're not having a lot of luck here. Small boat of East Asia. Boy, I don't know. I don't know if I've even seen this term before. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I'm definitely not going to be able to come up with it. Five down EG in brief. I wonder if this is going to be a president. I wonder if it's going to be FDR. Hmm. Because this could be prez, right? I wonder, could this be a Z? Low member of a marine ecosystem? I really want this to be bottom feeder. Oh, it's one letter too long. Shoot, okay. Well, we did want it to start with a Z. Is there anything with a Z we can think of? Zebrafish is too few letters. Yeah, I don't know if I can think of anything. Let's see if we can start cold up in this section. Maybe we can get some of these short downs. Sri Lanka to Singapore direction? Oh boy. I don't know Southeast Asia enough to know where those are in relation to one another. Blank curium by the court. This sounds like it's going to be Latin. I have no idea. Legalese. Reconstruction, e.g. Well, there was a reconstruction era. All right, that's the most common crossword answer. <laughs> Hopefully that'll help us out. Man's name that's an African country. If you change the last letter. Oh my God. Um, okay, well, it's going to be an African country that's five letters long. There's a lot of African countries. Oh man. Maneuver in dancing or football. Hmm. A maneuver. Is this like a play maybe in football? No, it seems like it should be a maneuver, like a spin or a cutback or something. Hmm. It's not spin. It's going to be something like that though. He wrote, appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. Another quote, hmm. This one sounds vaguely familiar too. I have no idea who wrote it though. Shoot, okay. Embarks on a newly righteous path. Is it about being reborn in a religious sense? Hmm. Embarks. This is no laughing matter, an equivalent phrase. I'm not joking. 
It's not a joke. Yeah, none of that really fits. Well, let's take a peek at this first grid spanner. I have a feeling we're not going to get it right away. Um, it is a Saturday grid spanner after all, but let's try. Operative. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, well, this could be about an operative as in like a spy. Um, it could be operative as in like that's the operative word. It's the word in a sentence that makes the difference. Um, it could be about mathematics. Oh my god. I wonder if it could be an undercover agent. Would that fit? That would be great if we could get this grid spanner. Undercover agent. Oh my god. It actually fits. This would be huge <laughs> if we could get this. Um, maybe this could be Niger and that could be Nigel. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Nigel. Um, kitchen extension. And this is wordplay, so it's not about building onto your kitchen. Um, it's like an extension maybe that would go on the end of the word kitchen. Maybe it would be a kitchenette. Very tricky. Okay. Brilliant display. Uh, hmm. What kind of brilliant display? seems like that could go in a lot of different directions. Rather inclined. <laughs> so this is not about a preference for something. Yeah, this is literally inclined. It could be steep. Very nice. Okay. Spot early on. And this is wordplay. Um, so maybe this is not about seeing something early on. Maybe this is about somebody named Spot early on. That's kind of a dog's name, right? Maybe that could be a pup. <laughs> I like that one. That's very cute. Um, does that help us with the football and dancing maneuver? Hmm. It almost looks like it ends in step. Agent has to be right, though. Um, is it something up, maybe? I don't know. Hmm, this ends in a U? That's unusual. Boy, is it not pup? Pup is such a good answer though. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody that I can think of that ends in a U. Oh man, I don't know. Shoot, we were making some progress there for a little while. I wonder if this is like a flare? Could this be a tap of something? Oh, could it be a toe tap? Is that a football maneuver? Hmm, a toe tap. I've never heard of that, but I guess it's possible. Let's put that in and then maybe this is an R. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? This sounds like it might be advice from the art of war, actually. Maybe this is Sun Tzu, yeah the writer of The Art of War. And then maybe this is a blaze. That's great, okay. All right, maybe now that we have all of the end letters here, we'll be able to spot something. Um, yeah, this is looking like it's gonna be I'm serious. <laughs> Very nice, okay. Um, okay, and then maybe this could be repents. That does have kind of a religious flavor, okay. That makes it Per curium by the court. That makes sense. Per means by, yeah. And then this is east, southeast. Okay, I'll take their word for it. Um, variety offering? Oh, wait a minute. That looks really weird. Hmm, I wonder if it's not I'm serious. This is no laughing matter. Oh, man. Anju alternative. Anju is a type of pear. I think this could be a Bosque pear. And then this is B serious. There we go. Okay. Um, is this a review, like in a variety show? Is that right? I don't know about that. Where Jesse Owens ran college track in brief. Well, the U looks really good at the end of a college. I have no idea where Jesse Owens ran college track though. It welcomes change. <laughs> this feels like it's a bit of a misdirection. 
Um, this is not about change in general, like something different. I think this might be about change as in coins. Could that be a coin star? That would be so funny. I would love that if that was the case. Um, because that certainly welcomes change, right? Okay, big gun, you might say. Yeah, that could be a bicep. Okay, very nice. I think we nailed Coinstar. I'm glad we got that early. That's very tricky. Rescue. Um, hmm. Is this a rescue, like a noun? Like you might call a cat or a dog or a pup maybe? Or is this the verb rescue? I don't know. Hmm. Well, we've got an N here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help too much. All right, maybe we can build off of this P. England's Middleton, younger sister of Kate. Oh God, English Royals. Um, I think she's come up on the puzzle a few times this year. I wanna say it's like Pippi or something. It's kind of a cutesy sounding name. Um, I'm not certain enough to put it in though. It's something along those lines. Draft letters. Draft, what kind of draft? Like a rough draft or is it like a draft of beer? Hmm, I don't know. The world's most visited city, 20 plus million travelers annually. Okay, well it should certainly be somewhere I've heard of. And we do have the first letter. Hmm, where could this be? That's so tough. With just a couple more letters, I bet we'd be able to see it. Yeah. People credited with discovering mechanoluminescence using quartz crystals to generate light. People? What kind of people? <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about here. Um, hmm. Is it like a nationality or something? That's very confusing. I'm not sure what they're going for there. Let's take a look at this stack. Maybe we'll get lucky like we did with Undercover Agent and get one or more of these. Gardening practice that minimizes the need for water. Oh man, um, I don't know. Minimizes the need for water. I wonder if it ends in culture though. No, that would mess up the S here. Hmm, I don't know. Let's move on to the next one. The Book of Numbers. All right, I don't think this is gonna be about the Book of Numbers in the Bible. Is there another kind of numbers book? A book that would have numbers in it? Maybe it's a book of numbers as in songs? The Book of Numbers? Could it be like a song book somehow? I don't know. I guess it could be the book of numbers, <laughs> like a book that anesthesiologists would read. <laughs> that seems the least likely. And this one was a low member of a marine ecosystem, right? Boy, we are running out of things to build off of again. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to start cold in the bottom. That's a little troubling, but let's not get discouraged. All right, 38 across, symbol on an ancient sarcophagus. Um, okay, so it's not the Eye of Ra, it's not an Ankh, hmm, maybe it's an Asp? I think they put Asps on things, didn't they? Let's see if we can build off of it. Where Lost could be found? They're talking about the show Lost, right? Um, I think that aired on ABC, could it be ABC TV, maybe? Maybe. Foe of Popeye? Um, well, isn't that Bluto? That doesn't fit though, so it must be something else. I think another one of his enemies was the Sea Hag, wasn't it? Ooh, those letters look really good too. Phew, okay, I'm glad I remembered that one. That looks very useful. Okay, Emmy winning actress Adlin. Oh, that's Pamela Adlin, yeah. Um. She was on the Louis C.K. show and then she got a show of her own afterwards, yeah. Okay, nice. Savage, um, I guess this could be an adjective or a noun. I think it's gonna be a noun. I think it's gonna be beast, a savage, yeah. 
bit of hunting gear for short. Maybe it could be camo. Yeah, we've got a the here. That's interesting. Those tending to the fallen warriors called Einherjar in myth. Oh my god. Um, That kind of looks Norse vaguely. Is it going to be the Valkyries, perhaps? Um, now the challenge is to spell Valkyries. Uh, I think it might be like that. I might be off by a letter or two, though. Okay. Dangerous place for a leak? Uh, maybe a gas tank? That would be a terrible place for a leak, yeah. All right, let's see if we can build down. Hits hard could be socks. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good here. Let's take a look at this grid spanner before we get too much more filled in. You can come out now, an equivalent phrase. Ooh, I think this one has to be the coast is clear, right? Maybe that's something you could say to an undercover agent after all the danger has passed. That's pretty funny. That's a cute pair there. All right, let's take a look at these short downs that we got filled in. OYT looks really bad. Caster Blank, old cartoon character. That has to be Caster Oil. I think that was another Popeye character, like the Sea Hag. Yeah, okay, so it's not Gas Tank. Maybe it's a Gas something else? I have no idea. All right, let's take a look at this next down. Lennox of R&B. I don't think I know this person. I'm going to take this out, the end of Gas Tank, because that's not right. Vice Principal? Vice Principal. So this is not about a Vice Principal at a school. Maybe a principal that has to do with Vice could be Sin. Another very tricky Saturday clue there. Okay, one in a one-on-one -on -one session. Maybe that could be a 2T? Because of that E at the end there, it can't be a 2 tour. Alright, so this is looking like Gas Line. That is also a dangerous place for a leak. And that gives us Ari Lennox of R&B. Yeah, I definitely haven't heard of them. Okay, that builds us up through here a little bit, though. That's really good. Today Proceeder? Um, is this a word that would go before today in, like, a phrase? Until today? Up to today? I guess today is a television show also. Hmm unchanged. I wonder if that's as is. You could also see that marked on an item in a store, maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Today Proceeder. Hmm. Oh, this could be USA Today. Yeah, that's a newspaper title. Okay. <laughs> Another pretty tricky Saturday clue. Something outstanding in its field. <laughs> I love this joke. This is like one of my favorite clean jokes. Why did the Scarecrow win the Nobel Prize? He was outstanding in his field. Um, I don't think that's going to be the answer today, though. It's something outstanding in its field. Hmm. Maybe it's a stalk? Like a stalk of a plant? I wonder. Is this a plural, maybe? Deals. Ooh. Well, it's present tense. I like stalk, actually. It's a very similar kind of punny answer to the scarecrow answer. Um, does that help us here at all? Let's see. Self-playing instruments. Oh my god, what do they call those player pianos that play themselves? Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to remember it. It looks okay at the end though, L-A-S. Yeah. Okay, we have a K at the end here. I have a really hard time believing it's Bismarck. Hmm, what else could this be? I wonder if stock is not right actually. Well, maybe we can try and clear out this bottom corner here at least. Let's try it. Book reviewer, and this is wordplay. So it's not about a person that's reviewing books. What other kind of book reviewer could there be? Somebody that looks over books somehow? Book reviewer, maybe it's a CPA. Yeah, it could be about financial books. Very clever, I like that one. Okay. Vivacity? Maybe that could be Elan? Yeah, you do something with a lot of energy with some verve. Vivacity, Elan. I like that. Okay. Collage application? This is kind of funny. This is just making sure you're paying attention. It's not a college application. I think you could apply paste to a collage, maybe? 
put up. Oh, this is so tricky. It's put. That red flag went up for me immediately. I'm glad because I think this is probably anteed in the past tense. I was thinking at first, oh, it could be ante, but it's not in the right tense. But then I saw the word put again and I remembered, yes, that can be in the past tense as well. That has tripped me up so many times. All right, let's see if we can build off of the ends here. One might determine fertility. Well, it kind of looks like it's going to end in a test, right? I don't know what kind of test. Newborn could be a neonate. Very nice. Okay, we're building up a little bit. Didn't just tee hee. So you're laughing pretty intensely. Maybe it could be roared. And this is Etna. It started smoking again in 2021. Yeah, it sounds like Mount Etna, all right. Okay, head of Hogwarts, and this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about Albus Dumbledore. I think this is going to be a pun about the word head, as in a toilet. So maybe it's something you could call a toilet in Hogwarts, which is in the UK. And that would be a loo, a British word for the head. Very tricky there. I really like that one a lot. We get a little bit of literal toilet humor. All right, um, I'm still not sure about this fertility test. Shoot, that would have helped a lot. We just have the tiniest little bit to build off of here, and they're very common letters. Let's see if we can do it. More like mud? Oh, no. Um, yeah, that's really tough. And then this isn't going to help too much either, just the N. Oh, boy. All right, well, let me poke around in the grid here and see if I can find a toehold to build off of. All right, I took a look at this quote up here again, and because we have the R in there now, I think it is pretty likely that it's FDR. Um, and then with this F in here, act the cynic maybe? Possibly that could be scoff. If you're cynical, you kind of scoff at everything, right? So that would give us fees for schedule listings. Yeah, you can have a fee schedule, right? It's kind of a listing of the fees that someone might charge. And then, can we get some of these downs now? Hot spots. That should be saunas. Yeah, so it's not gets. Yeah, okay, let's put in saunas. And then, what are these downs here? Channel owned by HBO. Is it Cinemax? I had no idea. I thought those were separate companies. Okay. Um, hmm, prompting nostalgia. Is it old timey, maybe? What is this? Nets realizes, like in a financial sense, what did you net? Yeah, your profits after expenses. A CPA probably would have been able to get that one, yeah. Okay, so maybe this is timey. Is this an I? Soiree invitee. Oh my god, it's an ami in French because soiree is a French word. <laughs> That's so tricky, I love it. This puzzle has been really, really great. It's the right kind of challenging. Um, is this an M? Small boat. Oh my god. Uh, well, an M doesn't look terrible, but we have an X here. Wait a second. We should be able to build off of that. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is something. I feel like this has shown up on the puzzle once before this year. Is it like zero culture or something? I want to say it starts with zero or maybe Zeno. Shoot, man, it's been a while. Um, but this would be an E, this could be a Y. Oh man, this is so tough. Is this an N or an R maybe? Oh, we wanted this to be Prez, right? Let's put that in. Prez. I guess the N letter might be an S instead of a Z too. That might be easier to build off of here. It's not really looking like it's gonna be a Z. Yeah, I don't know what it is going to be. I think this is going to be zero. That rings the faintest of bells in my memory. I wonder if this is going to be zero culture, and then this is not Coinstar. It could be coin something else, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what the best answer is here. Let's try putting in zero culture because we need so much help on the acrosses here. Yeah, let's see if that helps at all. Hmm, 
Maybe it's coin cup? It has to be singular, it can't be coin cups. Boy, I don't know. Deals. Is this like dealing cards or is it like coping with something? I don't know. Tool with an eye. I can't think of a tool with an eye other than a needle maybe. Hmm, this is not looking like Pippi or whatever we were thinking it was. Boy, I don't know. This is not helping too much. Jazz great Stan. I think he's shown up on the puzzle before too. I can't remember it though. Oh man, okay. Well, this is looking like old timey. Sam Pan? Sam Pin? You know what I think this maybe should be? I think this should be bail out for rescue. Yeah, maybe it's Zerik culture. <laughs> I don't know if my memory of this is really helping too much. It seems like almost every letter was wrong. Bail out. Hmm. Yeah. I guess this could be a Sampan. Um, oh my god, this is the book of telephone numbers. It's the yellow pages, isn't it? Yeah. We just needed that L in there to see that yellow because we were already thinking a Y should go in here. I think this has to be an M at this point, a Sampan. Yeah. And then maybe this is a coin clip? A coin club? I don't know what this is still. Um, oh boy. It's looking like culture is wrong still, isn't it? Well, I guess it's not Zara culture. Um, it looks like this is not a coin star either though. Maybe it's a coin slot, like in an arcade machine. Um, maybe this is the Ute, the Native American people. That seems fairly likely. Um, boy, I don't know about this though. Maybe this is Copes. <laughs> I think I said Cope before, didn't I? Um, maybe this is Xeriscaping. We were so close. <laughs> I think I said Xenoculture at the beginning. We were kind of close. Yeah, it's looking finally right here. And look at this. Maybe this is going to be Pippi or like Peppa. Yeah, it's something like that. Maybe this could be an all. I didn't think an all had an eye though. I guess you could make an eye with an all. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what the different parts of an awl are called. I guess it could have an eye. Maybe the point is called the eye or something. Hopefully the goose can straighten me out on that one. Oh, wait a minute. This is starting to look like zooplankton, isn't it? Maybe it is prez with a Z after all. Oh my God, after all that. All right, zooplankton. Very nice, okay. Um, is this Peppa? Draft letters. Pippa, maybe? Maybe it could be IPA, India Pale Ale. That could be a kind of draft, a draft beer. Let's put that in. I think Pippa is right. Um, that could be IPA. And then this is Bangkok. Oh my God. In Thailand? That's the most visited city. That's crazy. Okay. Well, it is a big tourist destination. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. All right. Um, maybe this is pianolas, self-playing pianos. Yeah, that looks vaguely familiar. And then more like mud could be oozier. <laughs> okay, so that gives us Stan Getz. Yeah, you know what? I think I have heard some music by Stan Getz before. Did he do the girl from Ipanema? Maybe he did. Yeah, I'm not sure. And then this should be an I, a soil test. Oh my God. It's not about fertility in a person. It's about fertility of a soil. That is, again, a perfect Saturday clue. All right, let's put that I in there and see if that does it for us. Wow, okay, a Saturday puzzle in over 40 minutes. That is a very slow time for us. When I saw Trenton Charleston's name on the byline of this puzzle, I had a feeling we were gonna be in for a challenge and this puzzle did not disappoint. Um, but man, this was a hard puzzle in the best way. Pretty much all of the things we got stuck on were very clever misdirections and puzzling through wordplay like that is one of my favorite parts about doing crosswords. Like we ended on this soil test, 
determine fertility. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely intentionally wording the clues to make you think it's about human fertility, determine fertility, yeah. I just absolutely love that kind of thing. I actually think these two grid spanners were kind of on the easier side in terms of this puzzle. They were still very hard. Operative is a very ambiguous clue. I think we were very lucky to get this as quickly as we did. Um, this one was actually fairly easy to get, so I'm very thankful for that because we really needed the help. We were thinking this book of numbers was going to be about music, but it actually ended up being about telephone numbers. That's still a really great misdirection. I was kind of wondering if it would have something to do with a CPA. This is another great wordplay clue, book reviewer. This vice principal clue for sin is such a great way to amp up the difficulty on a pretty common crossword answer, sin, yeah. This coin slot answer was great. We thought it was coin star at first. We were on the right track. Yeah, we almost had it. This Nets clue here for realizes, oh, just so good. This is such an ambiguous clue. It really makes you think it's going to be about realizing something. We put in gets there at first. We were one letter off. Oh, that was really tough. And then this one is great too. Soiree invitee. They're subtly hinting that you should be answering in French. Yeah. All right, yeah, that puzzle was certainly nothing to scoff at. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I hope you enjoyed solving that devilishly tricky Saturday along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, long, lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.